Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos we tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I won't be doing either of my regular videos this week as I'll be in Las Vegas for the Dice Tower West convention, so I won't be around to do any live streams for the channel. Now, we don't have any news for Time of Legends Joan of Arc 1.5, Reichbusters, Enchanters, Steam Watchers, Six Siege, the board game, Monster Apocalypse, or Rise of the Necromancers, but we do have some info for our other projects though, so let's get to it. For Solomon Kane today, while Wave 2 shipping is not yet fully concluded, the final shipments are occurring and the last few errant pledge challenges are being conquered. We of course want to thank you for your patience and appreciate your commitment to this extraordinary game. Now we'd also like to share some exciting new developments with you as we prepare to reprint Solomon's Journey Against the Darkness. Our remaining stock of Wave 2 product is now available in limited quantities on our eShop if you'd like to select any items you may have missed during the crowdfunding campaign. The reprint will be a while in production if you're waiting until the reprint pre-order to pledge. Since the creation of the game and the successful crowdfunding campaign, there have been a raft of changes within the industry and the wider world. COVID has become a word spoken daily, and the challenges we face from the rising costs associated with ocean freight to our distribution hubs, rising raw material costs, and longer manufacturing times as our factories experience both worker and electricity shortages has required us to put our thinking caps on. Because of these extensive changes in market conditions, we've re-engineered the game boxes for the reprint of Solomon Kane. The re-engineering of the Kickstarter core box into a more affordable entry point base box and two other boxes was discussed long and hard to ensure that as the game was be being reprinted and with its availability on our eShop, we could make the entry point into the game more affordable for as wide an audience as possible. So the new core box will contain fewer adventures with Le Ogre, Rattle of Bones, Beasts of Bordeaux, Haunted Mountain and Skull in the Stars retaining their spots, but they still contain also everything else required to play. Two other companion boxes will incorporate the remaining material from the core box and the previous Right Hand of Doom expansion. One will contain the Blue Flame of Vengeance and Right Hand of Doom, and the other will contain Witchfinder General and Death's Black Riders. The Wave 2 expansions will remain as they are currently. Now, don't worry, the rules haven't changed. This iteration will include all errata, both those discovered in Wave 1 and any that occur in Wave 2 product. This rule set will not be a 1.5 version, as the rules are solid. However, we are applying some polish to the rulebook, reorganizing the general flow of information to enable a better, smoother immersion into the game. We'll also be sharing some up-to-date news about the exciting app we've developed. Each narrative opening section, soundtrack, sound effects will add such an immersive depth. We look forward to you being able to listen to samples and feel your spine tingle. Now, don't forget to reach out and secure these last few copies of the Wave 2 expansions, though, as it will be, as we said earlier, quite a wait for the reprint. Now, concerning some fulfillment updates for our backers in the EU and rest of the world regions, the container carrying the overstock, errata packs, and various other items has been delayed, and Meeple Logistics now expects it to reach the hub on March 10th. For our backers in Australia and New Zealand, VR Distribution has told us that their hub has been hit with COVID and that all shipments have stopped. Once they can get their hub up and running, Solomon Kane shipments will be the first to get moving again. For Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 today, we have some follow-up information to share. For the EU and rest of the world regions, Meeple Logistics reports that Batch 1 orders uh, who have received their address verifications are going to be shipping out this week, and that Batch 2 address verifications will be going out very soon with their shipments beginning uh, shortly thereafter. For our North American backers, including those of you in the Great White North, 
Quartermaster Logistics is still waiting on one container that is due very soon. If you haven't already received an address verification email, they will be sent out very soon as well, so please keep an eye out for that. For our backers in the UK, Spiral Galaxy reports that their hub is very packed with containers right now, and they're working as fast as they can to get things out the door. So please be patient there. For our backers in Australia and New Zealand, VR Distribution reports that their hub has been hit with COVID and that all shipments have stopped. They were working on Solomon Kane when this occurred, so when they get their hub back up and running, they will complete Solomon Kane first and then get straight to fulfilling Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2. So we do thank you so much for your support and patience, everyone. For Darkest Dungeon this week, we'd like to announce that the Pledge Manager on GameFound has been reopened as of Monday, February 28th, and will remain open until Monday, March 14th. This was done in reply to the many responses we received concerning uh, the timing of the previous announcement that we had changed the configuration of the boxes from transit from China to the customer. You'll have the freedom to make any changes that you'd like to your pledge until its closure on March 14th. If you wish to raise or lower your pledge up or down a level, though, we ask that you contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net for that. It's also been requested that the procedure for removing the sleeves from our pledge to be put into an announcement. So here goes. If you purchased your sleeves individually, the process is quite easy as you simply remove the item from your cart. But if you purchased your sleeves as part of a bundle, the process is a little bit more involved. As they're part of the bundle, one can't just remove them from the bundle. The whole bundle has to be removed, and each item within the bundle that you want to keep in your order must then be added back to your order manually. Any overpayment that results in changes made to your pledge in GameFound can be requested as a refund. Now, we're still waiting on the white samples to arrive from the factory so that we can better exhibit how the new configuration of the boxes works, but as soon as we can put that together, we will. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show because, quite frankly, you just never know what Leo's going to do. Now, as mentioned earlier, I won't be able to do my two other videos this week as I'll be attending Dice Tower West in Las Vegas, but I'll be back to both of them next week. And that's it for today. Thanks again. Stay safe. Play some games while you're at it. And we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.